Yo, what is up guys, JCDC1221 here, coming to you guys with another video, and today we're going to be doing a Pokemon TCGO deck build. So, what build are we going to do? Hmm, well you know what, I've been seeing a lot of this particular deck while I've been playing, and that would be the Mew and Passimian deck. You guys might be wondering, well, what's so great about Mew and Passimian? Let me show you guys. So, let's start things off with Mr. Passimian himself. Take a look at this card. Fling. This attack does 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Not too great, but notice that second attack down below. Team play. This attack does 30 damage for each of your benched Passimian. So, if you guys don't know this, you can have a maximum of 4 Pokemon in a single deck. So, we have our 4 Passimian here. Then... We pair this up with the lovely Mew. We have a few different choices. Typically, most people run this because it is the easier Mew to get a hold of. But if you're fortunate enough, you have Mew EX from the Radiant Collection. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our four Passimians and our three Mews, which basically do the same thing, except this one has 50 HP, and this one has 120 HP. This is definitely the better option. However, either way, read what it says. This Pokemon can use the attacks of any of your Pokemon in play. You still need the necessary energy to use each attack. So, this particular Mew only can do basic Pokemon. So, it's not as good as this Mew. This Pokemon can use the attacks of any Pokemon in play both yours and your opponent, but you still need the proper energy, which isn't a big deal. So we have those as our Pokemon. Now, speaking of energy, let's talk about energy. So it takes two double colorless to be able to do the attack. So we want double colorless in our deck, of course. So let's see what kind we have to deal with here. Hmm. Yeah, we got plenty of double colorless. So let's go ahead and pick a few. Doesn't really matter what kind. We'll go with two of those. And we'll go with... You know what? We'll go with the four of that one kind. Because that way we don't have to worry about it taking the slot. Alright, four energies. Now, you might be wondering, was well, that it? That's a little low on energy. Well, that is where we come in here. And we add some fighting energy. So... We're going to be adding a few of those fighting energies to our deck. We're going to be adding specifically seven. So, let's look over here and see if we have a nice pile before we start attaching. All right, so we want seven. So we'll go ahead and click this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven energies. Now, we got our Pokemon here, and you might be wondering, was well, that it for Pokemon? Well. Nope, that is not it for Pokemon. You're actually going to be able to see that we need some draw support Pokemon. Now, the recommendation for a lot of people is Shaman EX because it's such a good Pokemon and you can draw all the Pokemon you need. However, we're going to be doing this with a little bit of a budget tweak. So instead of using Shaman, we're going to use a brand new Pokemon who came out in the Sun and Moon set. Oh, not Passimian. The other main, other monkey. And that would be Oranguru. So we're going to do two Orangaroos for our deck. And if we look here, instruct once during your turn before you attack, you may draw cards until you have three in your hand. And then Psychic does 60 damage plus 20 more damage times the number of energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So this Pokemon is a really good Pokemon to have. So this is it for Pokemon. That's it. So, trainers. Let's talk trainers. What? are we running for trainers well first of all we need a town map so let's add our town map here the next we're going to add an escape rope escape rope is really good it allows you to force your opponent to switch their Pokemon along with yours in case you need to get away now we need to be able to get the Passimian out on the bench so we need to type in nest ball Nest Ball is really good. Look what it says. Search your deck for a basic Pokemon and put it onto your bench. Passimian is a basic Pokemon. So, 
That's going to work perfectly for getting those Basimian out on the bench. Alright, what else do we need? Well, you guys saw that we have a lot of double colorless energy. So we need a special charge. And luckily enough, we have one right here. And then next, we're going to need a revive. Because if our Pissimians do go down, we need to be able to bring them back. Not max revives, specifically revives. It's the better of the two choices. So we're going to get the one here, the two of that kind, and the one here for a total of three revives. So, the next thing we're going to need is our acrobike. And we're going to want three of those acrobikes. All right, then we need our Verse Seekers. Verse Seekers are really good, if you notice here. Put a support card from your discard pile into your hand. So we're gonna get two of those. Typically you might wanna run more, but I only have two unfortunately, so we're gonna go with two. So now, the next card we need is Trainer's Mail. We're gonna be running four Trainer's Mail. Let's take a look at what Trainer's Mail is. Look at the top four cards of your deck. You may reveal a trainer card you find there, except for trainer's mail, and put it in your hand. So it's a very useful item. Okay, next, we're going to be doing a few Ultra Balls. Because again, if we don't find those Nest Balls, we're going to need to find the Ultra Balls. So, Ultra Balls here. We're going to be going for a total of two Ultra Balls. We don't need that many. Alright. And then the next item we need is Sky Field. Sky Field is a really good stadium because it allows us to have a lot of Pokemon out on the field. Each player can have eight Pokemon on his bench, which means you can have an additional two Pokemon. Because normally you can only actually you can only have five normally, including your active Pokemon for a total of six. So this allows you to have a lot more Pokemon, now that I think about it. So, this is a really good stadium card for this deck, so we can have all four of our Pissimians out, we can have some other Mew on the bench getting set up, we can have our Rangaroos both out there for our draw support, so it'll be very important to have that. And then the next card we need is Professor Sycamore. Professor Sycamore is a really, really good card, and we're going to need three of him. Alright, and then the next trainer card we're going to need is N. Now, I touched on uh, how good N was in the last video while we were battling our opponent. I told you guys that N is a very useful Pokemon trainer uh, tool to be able to use because he allows you to draw Pokemon, um, draw cards rather, excuse me, uh, according to how many prize cards you have left. So it's a very good card to have. So we're going to take N. We got Professor Sycamore. Uh, let's see. Next up, we need Lysander. Now, Lysander is another really good card. We saw how good Lysander was yesterday. Again, you force your opponent to have to switch their Pokemon. So, that is a really good card to be able to use, and it forces them to switch, and they might not want to have to switch, but they have to anyways. Alright, another really good card that we're going to add is Olympia. Alright. There she is. Okay, so we're going to be adding one Olympia. And then, the next card we're going to be adding is Teammates. Alright, so it should be here to the far right. There it is. So we're going to be adding two Teammates. And then, time to get on to a few different items. We need our Fighting Fury Belt. And there they are. So we're going to be adding two Fighting Fury Belts. Those are going to help out the Muse. Then we're going to be adding our Float Stone. Alright, there they are. One and two Float Stones. And then, for the last two cards, we're going to be doing Bursting Balloon. Alright, let's add these up here. 
Very nice! So, we built a deck completely, so let's recap what we have. We've got two Orangurus, four Pasimians, three Mews, three Acrobikes, one Escape Rope, four Nest Balls, three Revives, one Special Charge, one Town Map, one Trainer's Mail, two Ultra Balls, two Verse Seekers, three Skyfields, two Lysanders, two Ends, one Olympia, three Professor Sycamores, two Teammates, two Bursting Balloons, two Fighting Fury Bells, and two Float Stones. And then for energy, four Double Colorless, and seven Fighting Type Energies. So yeah, this is going to be the Mew and Pasimian deck. It's a very good deck, and I highly recommend it. And just to be able to show you guys how much I recommend it, I'm going to be doing a battle tomorrow against LauderDude13. He's going to be battling us, and we're going to try out this deck for the first time. So that's very exciting. If you guys want to see that video, make sure and stay tuned so you guys can see it when it comes out tomorrow. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please let me know with a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe button if you guys are feeling real generous, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.